Hi, my name is Marin with Yoga Evo, and this routine we're doing is strength training. One of the best strength training routines you can do is get inverted. Get on your hands, get on your shoulders, build this upper body because we carry most of our weight in our lower body. If we can even out that and give us ourselves a little bit of strength in our upper body and our back, we're gonna improve in strength overall very effectively. So grab your Yoga Evo strap. We're gonna be working a lot with alignment today. I like placing my arms in the two loops on the end. You wanna find out which works best for you as far as a roughly shoulder width, if not slightly smaller than shoulder width. So you can put a little bit of pressure outside. We're gonna start 100% with the crow pose. This is a very common yoga pose. It's a basic one that requires a lot of strength. Here's how we're gonna do it. You're gonna get down on the ground, nice low squat, just like this. If you're on your toes, that's okay. You're going to gently just stay right here, opening those hips nice and wide, relaxing nice and deep. If you can, get on your heels. Um, you should not feel any sharp pain or joint pain. If you do, stop and just focus on stretching right here. So we're going to gently drop our heads, press our palms down. I want you to rotate those inner elbows out towards the front. Without locking your arms, we're gonna place our palms nice and wide on the ground and flat. And just give ourselves a nice stretch here. After five to six deep breaths, place those palms firmly right out in front of you. We're gonna rock up. Rock back down into starting position. Rock up again, raising up on our toes and coming back down. From here, I like to press down firmly on the ground. Bring one, bring my knees up against either right into my armpits or right on the outside of my shoulders. Rocking back down. You should feel a lot of workout, a lot of stretch, even burn in your hip flexors, in your calves and your hamstrings. This is good. Lift up from here, rotate forward, lift one leg, come back down. Again, lift up, rotate onto the hands, lift one leg, come back down. You're building strength in this routine. And you're keeping your arms nice and aligned using the help of the Yoga Evo strap. So from here, go ahead. If you need to stretch your hips out a little bit, stretch your hips out a little bit. Let's go ahead and raise up very nice and tight. If you feel good, rock forward and lift one leg, then lift the other leg and push into that nice crow pose. That is on the outer arms. If you feel like going more advanced, go right up in the armpits and lift. When you feel like you need a break, relax and stretch down. Sitting way back on the hindquarters. This is really good. You can do this for half an hour and get a really great strength training uh, workout done. So rock forward, pull your toes up. If you can bring your knees forward and gently lift back down. Takes a lot of strength and a lot of focus. So let's go again. Lift up. If you can rock forward, lift one leg, rock back down. Lift another leg, rock back down. When you're ready, hands firmly down, right up on there, and rock forward all the way. And relax back down. Try what you can at best. Use the strap if you're having a hard time keeping those arms rotated forward. Follow your breath, focus, 
And when you need to take a break, make sure you stretch back down, dropping your head and pressing your palms firmly to the ground. Try this at first for five to 10 minutes, take a good break. If you feel like doing it again, do it again. And soon enough, you're gonna find yourself easily holding a crow pose and moving into more advanced strength movements. So thank you so much for joining me here on Yoga Evo. My name is Marin and I hope you enjoyed the strength training routine into the crow pose.